My 20M and my partner 19F had been dating for three years. High school sweethearts, some context beforehand, as it might help? One overall the relationship was healthy, not much fighting, lots of communication, and a lot of love for each other too I wasn't the biggest supporter of my partner's choice in college. This was because they had chosen to go to a university where they had to pull an exorbitantly high loan, in excess of $150,000, in order to afford going to the university out of state despite having many free ride offers in state because of her grades in high school. Her household was single income so I knew she had no means of affording this loan at all since she'd be a full-time student so there was no opportunity for a job. She knew this while signing up for it, so it wasn't some hidden spite I had. 3. This is in the United States and the event it needs clarification. My partner had recently, as of a few months ago, started college ahead of me and I'm lagged behind as I was working to save money to pay off a good chunk tuition community college I was looking at before I attempted to enroll. We had tried to make the preparations we thought necessary for the transition into a long-distance relationship, and we had made plans to try to call at least for a little bit every day or every other day depending on how busy either of us were. This had worked perfectly fine until there were sudden changes, saying she'd like to spend less time with me to focus more on work, with tests coming up this made sense to me, so I gave her space. However, some time after those changes she had asked for even less time to spend more time with her friends she had met at the college. She suddenly started getting a bit hostile towards me, insinuating I was lesser because I wasn't in college yet, or claiming they felt like they had been maturing faster than I was, which also felt like an attempt to make me feel lesser. I called her out of this, and she apologized, saying she didn't mean to belittle me like that. I put it off as stress from college and didn't think too hard on it. For about the next two weeks things started to normalize again, calling regularly, nothing really negative or out of the ordinary. Starting to settle back into the norm, I wake up and she's wanting to call me saying she wants to talk about something important. She tells me that she had set a goal of having a polyamorous relationship. Because of my relationship beliefs, I told her I couldn't support her in that, to which her response was okay then and she proceeded to block me on every major social media we talked through and informed the only mutual friend we had to not help him out. I'm totally caught off guard and I don't know what to make of this situation. I don't believe I did anything wrong but I also don't think there was any sign or possibility of cheating or similar. I can try to answer questions to the best I know. I just want to know what everyone makes of this. I don't intend on disclose any identifying information such as university or state. Redditor's reaction story 2 after. Redditor 1, your relationship is over bro. There's not a whole lot you can do here but pick up the pieces and move on. You and her grow apart and that is okay. You're going to be okay. It's going to hurt and you need to cherish the good times you had and mourn this loss. Visions for life can differ, especially when in relationships at younger ages. My suggestion is to handle this with grace. It's unfair how she treated you, but you now have the blessing of being able to put the energy you were giving to her into yourself and propel yourself further in achieving your hopes and dreams. Best wishes bro. Op answer, unfortunately it is. I'll have more energy to funnel into future studies so I have that to look forward to. Thank you for your words, Redditor2, I've talked about my college experience a few times, but I think it's relevant here as well. My now wife and I also started dating while we were both seniors in high school. I ended up moving away to go to college and she stayed home and went to community college. The LDR didn't work well. I needed more affirmation than the LDR afforded, and I was so touch starved after a few months that I was just always irritable. Plus, I wanted to branch out and meet new people and do new things, but my GF was at home doing the same stuff she had done in high school and constantly calling texting me. I started to feel like she was holding me back. We had a really crappy on again off again relationship for three years. I resented her a lot and treated her like garbage. I broke up with her so I could sleep with another woman, then a few weeks later got back with her and didn't tell her about it right away. When she found out we broke up again. Long story short, it was bad. Frankly, the only reason we're married now is because we broke up after I moved home and spent a good bit of time apart. We developed separately, which we both needed, and then after some time, during which we both had other relationships, we decided to try again. My advice from my experience, your GF treated you like crap here, and is certainly in the wrong for not communicating better, but you're both young and that's kind of expected unfortunately. You're likely in a lot of pain, and that's understandable. Take the time you need to grieve this relationship, then move on. Believe it or not, 
you're much better off breaking up early than stringing the relationship along for a few years and almost hating each other by the end of it. Op answer, thank you for sharing your experience and advice. As much as I wish I could have a go at trying again, it's not possible, nor is it worth it with how things ended. I'll just have to learn from this and move on, hopefully having even better experiences. Redditor 3, she sounds extremely immature, look for someone more responsible and emotionally stable. Story 2, wife has friends she slept with in the past, as title says. I was aware of this before marriage but the identities of the friends were revealed closer to the wedding day as she didn't want to tell me in case I treated her friends differently, however I didn't want to get married without knowing who they were it would drive me nuts guessing. Also other bits of information come out later about the past and we usually end up arguing not talking when the topic arises. Although she said we can talk about it any time. Fast forward we're a year into marriage and I find this very strange to have friends that you've been intimate with and even been in a relationship with. It is not something I do myself and have no contact with my exes. I have started to really dislike the idea of even meeting up with them and have stated so. She says that her friends aren't exes but friendships that cross boundaries but been friends for years. They are same as time friends and one of them was her girlfriend for a couple of weeks but broke up and went back to friends with cross boundaries. She says she's not attracted to women but because of past trauma felt like s time had to be there to satisfy the friendship. It's not been that long before our relationship that one of these friendships was still s time ool. Anyway she says that the friendships are very different today and there is no way back to the old s time ool way of life with them. And that she has cut off other friends who do want to go back. She says she won't ever cheat. My dilemma is that I wish I made more of a big deal about this before marriage but we was expecting a child so got married and that took the focus and then the birth. But now our baby is further along I've had time to reflect. And don't like that she is in close contact with these people. She says that she would get rid of her friends for me. She believes that it won't solve my fears that she might go back to her old life and that she doesn't have much friends in her life and that they are part of groups so would be hard to avoid them. She does however have an enormous amount of acquaintances. I don't want to be doing life with them and said I won't be getting involved in any socials etc. I honestly think that if she did get rid of them she would resent me and give me stress later on about not having enough friends. She mentioned once that my stance wasn't loving or godly and that I was judging them for their past and essentially not being a Christian about it. In short my wife has friends of the same s time that she was been intimate with over years but doesn't want to lose these friendships which are not longer s time ool. Maybe a vent but open to hearing others opinions on this and what's right best? Anyone with lived experience as well? Redditor's reaction story 3 after. Redditor 1, I wouldn't have put myself in this position to begin with. You should have settled this before marriage. Boundaries man. Redditor follow up, absolutely. I think the fiancé K.E.U. it might be a deal breaker and so didn't tell up you till just before the wedding. Not to mention the fact that more info magical appeared after the wedding. So sorry op. I definitely would be able to trust her. But, you're right, that she will probably resent you if you ask her to break contact. The situation sucks. One solution may be a post-nup. Certain penalties in the divorce, if she is found to have been back with one of them. If she is so sure that she will never back, she shouldn't have a problem signing it. You can make it for both of you. Good luck, Redditor 2, I mean, just because you don't stay friends with past intimates doesn't mean others don't. If you have no reason to doubt you had she will cheat, them being in her life shouldn't bother you. Redditor 3, okay? Is your complaint that you can't change the past? You set no boundaries and didn't stand up for yourself. Story 3, Ida for making my wife feel like her pregnancy isn't that big of a deal. I 44 am and my wife 39 f have been married for 15 plus years, had stopped at 4 kids but we got surprise baby due December. My wife hasn't been pregnant in 5 years so this was a big deal for her and me. So she's constantly talking about it, telling everyone, and that's fine. She's excited. But it becomes a problem when she brings it up in inappropriate situations. For example a child in our town had unfortunately passed away and hit and run, and at the vigil my wife said something along the lines of, I'm so thankful that our baby is okay, I couldn't live with myself if this vigil was for one of our children or the baby. I know for a fact that a few people heard her because they shot us a dirty look, and scoffed. I love my wife I do, but there are some things you don't freaking say, especially when a couple is mourning their dead child. But this post isn't about that situation it's about something else entirely. My brother married a woman who immigrated from Iran a little over 8 years ago. She's a lovely woman and happy to have be a part of the family. 
Now if any of you know about the protest in Iran you can get an idea on where this is going. My sill has been so anxious, and having breakdowns because she hadn't been able to reach some of her family members she has members of her family who have been protesting, female and male relatives. After the news of Serena Ismail's at A.R.I.P. got to her, she deteriorated even more. She's been crying, not eating, no showers, etc. She cut off all her hair to show support, but my sill just really needs to see that her family is okay. My wife and I went over there, we brought some meals, and my brother and I were going to give the ladies a spa day. In the middle of eating my sill begins to cry silently, and while my brother is consoling her my wife goes in to say this, Sill I know how you are feeling. This pregnancy has been hard, it's hard to eat, and I cry that something might go wrong because of my age. But both of us will make it though this. Now let's go to the salon and do something about that hair. My wife had a genuine smile on her face. My sill began to cry even harder, I said sorry to them ushered my wife out of their house, and got into the car fuming. My wife noticed I was upset and asked why and I said, stop making everything about you in this pregnancy. Sill is having night terrors because of what's happening in her country, worried sick that her own family members may possibly die for protesting. Yet you go and compare her issue and your pregnancy together? My wife tried to explain her reasoning, saying she was just trying to make her feel better. How the hell was commenting on her hair and comparing your pregnancy to the protest in Iran going to make her feel better? My wife continued to say she did nothing wrong but there is a time and a place for everything. My wife took off to her parents and I've been getting calls left and right from my in-laws for not caring about my wife's pregnancy. Ida, update, I don't know what to do, and I need advice about cheating pregnant partner. I didn't think I'd come back to this website, I read many of your comments and took all the advice. Sit down, talk with her, get her point of view, maybe get her evaluated, and go back to how we were. Well that's not happening. Found out some devastating news from our 14 years o and I'm debating on whether I should keep fight for this marriage. She cheated on me. My wife, my partner in crime, my best friend, the ducking mother to my kids. And now I'm even unsure if they're my kids. I haven't told my wife that I know about her affair. And frankly I don't want to, I've been with her for so long that I don't know if I can live without her. I don't know how long she and this guy have been meeting up. I hope it's only been a couple of time, because that'll be easier to get over. I'm trying to keep myself together for my 14 years o, oh, but it's hard. Whenever I get a chance by myself I have a breakdown. I don't get what I did to cause her to do this. I thought I was a good husband, a good father, and a good friend. Turns out I may have been s it. I found out about the affair a couple days ago from my 14 years o. Oh. I've reassured her nothing's wrong, and I'll have me and her mother explain it. I'm thinking about just telling her that me and her mom have an open relationship to keep this under wraps, to just make it not look she cheated on me. I've just been going through the motions. My wife she's still at her parents. She's still barely talking to me. Now I know why. Maybe if I tell her I know about her affair she'll end it and come back home? We have a good life together, we're good together. I feel like I'm rambling. If this was my brother and I found out his wife cheated on him and he was talking like how I am now I'd grab him by the collar and set him straight. I've watched films of this stuff, heard about it, and even watched shows where the couple talks about how they get past infidelities. I would think, they're so stupid, just get divorced. I'd never forgive my wife if she cheated on me. But now I'm in the same shoes and I sound just like them. From what I've seen so far it was just emotional and nudes, but my daughter had taken plenty of pictures and I've only seen about 4 so far. There's at least 30. I feel that if I go through the rest of these photos it'll confirm that she may have been having this affair for a long time. My daughters might not even be my kids. If I go public with this it won't just turn my world upside down it'll affect my daughters too. I don't want to hurt them like that. I only eat when my daughter's around me to keep up the facade that everything's fine. But when she's away I'm throwing up and shaking. This isn't just some high school relationship. This the woman I've built a life with. I know what I should do, but I don't want to. Over the last few days I've realized how much my life circles around my wife and kids. If I dig any further into this I just might break. If you've been married, are married, in a long-term relationship with kids and a home how do you get past this? Do I just quietly confront her and do marriage counseling? Or do I just keep this from her and get her to come back home and act as if I know nothing about this? Update, married for nearly two decades, four kids with another on the way. Just found out she is cheating on me via our oldest child. 
How to forgive and get past this. I am 44 recently found out my wife F39 who is due in December has been cheating on me. The person who found out about the affair is my 14 years o. It's been a couple of days, but I'm still reeling from all of this. I finally went though the evidence, and the affair has been going on for at least 4 plus years. I haven't told my wife I know about her affair, but I plan on doing it soon, possibly after the baby is born. While it may not be my child, I still have so much love for this woman don't want to cause any harm. I know that I should probably start looking into a solicitor, separating our finances, and collecting even more evidence. But I stupidly want to try and fix this. Or at least not hate and love her at the same time. I planned on lying to my daughter to cover up for her mother, but my daughter is a smart cookie. There's no way she'd actually believe it. How do I navigate my way through something like this? I don't want to be filled with hatred and let our kids see it. Once I initiate this divorce all of ours will turn upside down. I just don't want this to ruin our kids. If I do a DNA test on the girls I know it would probably hurt them. We have 4 kids, all girls 14, 10, 5, 5 there's a slight chance the twins may not be my children. Just typing this makes my head hurt. I've been calling out of work, but I need to get my head on straight. Update, the twins are not mine and neither is the newborn. Last post was removed. I've confronted my wife. She was remorseful but she doesn't regret it. She loves him. Her parents knew about the affair. They discovered it long before I did. They had been helping them by having my wife STBXW and her AP meet at their home. Why were her parents helping her instead of being decent people? They didn't want to risk being humiliated. Her parents basically entire family is heavily involved in the church in our town. Also didn't want to separate the twins from their real dad. 14 years o and 10 years o are staying with my brother and Sil. I don't have strength to be able to take care of them right now. They hate their mother, and refuse to speak to her. They're both in therapy. I am too. I tried to take the twins so they could be with their sisters, but my wife put up plenty resistance she was begging me. I'm positive AP is with her at the moment, seen his car heading towards my eel house as I left. AP was also married, I've been in contact with his wife and she says she's filing for divorce. I haven't asked her if AP has tried to work things out, and frankly I don't care. Duck him. Duck my wife. Duck my stupid in-laws. I always thought eel were uptight to holes anyways. I'm glad they're all being ostracized. Mill and Phil have been kicked out the church and from the looks of the church's social media page, they deleted anything related to them. I'm glad they're being humiliated, the one thing they feared the ducking most is happening. Mill called me crying wanting me to clear the situation up what is there to clear up? Phil wanted me to work things out but I simply asked if it was him in this situation would be working things out? He answered with silence before hanging up. Wife has been trying to reach out to me, I refuse to answer her. I get just a tiny bit happy seeing how frantic she is to contact me. I don't know what she wants, and I don't want to speak to her anytime soon. I know I'll eventually have to. Before I got the results I was ready to take her to court and get custody of the twins. I'm pathetic, going to work is a struggle, my co-workers look at me with pity. I don't even grocery shop anymore. I can feel everyone looking and whispering. I've lost about 15 pounds since this whole thing came to light. I barely get any sleep. Therapy is not helping. This has been the worst year of my life. I wish I had kept my mouth shut in the car a few months ago. If I had then I'd be enjoying time with the newborn and decorating the house. The house is silent. It should be loud with my daughters laughing or arguing. I should be changing a diaper. I should be hearing my wife try to outperform Mariah Carey. The house should smell sweet and be warm. Dirty diapers should be in a trash bag waiting to be thrown out. I should be smiling and laughing. This house should be filled with happiness and life. Now it's just cold, empty and quiet. Everything I did was for nothing. I had a sad childhood, I wanted a happy adulthood. I can't ever seem to ducking win. I always lose. I don't feel like a man. I don't even feel human.